Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip, where we'll learn about the tessellation settings on Keyshot's import dialog. Keyshot is capable of importing more than 30 kinds of 3D data. Upon import, that data is converted into triangles to ensure a consistent experience within Keyshot. As the tessellation quality value is increased, so is the number of triangles the imported geometry will be converted into. The accurate tessellation checkbox allows Keyshot to try to normalize the shape of the triangles, which often results in smoother surfaces. If the triangle count is too low, surfaces will appear faceted, especially rounded surfaces. A tessellation quality of 0.01 makes the screw look jagged. By applying the wireframe material, we can see the individual triangles the geometry has been tessellated into. Next, we'll update the geometry and change the tessellation quality to 0.2, Keyshot's default value. Notice the wireframe is more dense. We'll apply a chrome material to see the effects. Usually, 0.2 is high enough and works well on most models. Finally, we'll update the geometry one more time with the tessellation quality set to 1. This is often overkill and can cause Keyshot to run slower, so beware when increasing tessellation significantly. The wireframe material shows just how dense the mesh now is. When working with multi-body models, it's best to keep the tessellation quality as low as possible without compromising image quality. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash keyshot3d. Go to keyshot.com learning for more videos, tutorials, and quick tips.